Chad, um, you've done so well in this SIRA evaluation program at Trangy. Uh, tell us a bit about that. It was a real unknown, Ben. Yeah, there's been some great results coming up. We've, uh, we've entered a ram that certainly looked very good visually and he measured well. Uh, but he was up against rams that have done exceptionally well in the show ring. But I couldn't find any actual data that we'd use to select a ram on uh, to see how the rams we were up against might, might go. So to see the results that have come out of the trial has been really pleasing. And, and tell us a bit about the result. Uh, he actually topped the trial for visual uh, assessment. The class was great. Uh, which is uh, the measurement of, of feet structure and hocks and wool quality uh, and a whole range of other visual traits. He was, uh, he was top, of the, top of the whole trial for that trait. Uh, and the other one that I'm very pleased about is the um, combination of visual and measured, uh, the dual, uh, dual purpose plus index, uh, combines the breeding values as well as the visual assessment and he, he stood up exceptionally well on, on, that, uh, on that particular score as well. So it's, it's great to see against unknown quantities from these. Uh, from these show winners, just how he, uh, that he's done as well as he has. Yeah, so I mean, it's a great result of uh, figures and phenotype again, isn't it? Mm. Which to me is the balance we're looking for. Uh, before breeding values became uh, known, uh, we put a lot of emphasis on feet and structure and the, and the visual assessment of the sheep, and we've added, which is still important. Which yeah. is still important. Uh, we haven't reduced that importance at all. It's uh, it's just a matter of adding the figures that we can now draw on from the breeding values. Uh, to improve the traits that are hard to see. Uh, muscle depth is hard to measure, fat cover is hard to measure, worm resistance is impossible to measure yeah. uh, by eye. So we, we need to have the data on these traits so we can measure these traits and select accordingly in conjunction with the visual assessment. And look, the results, we've just been out to David Gregg's uh, <coughs> place to do a little doco on him. And I mean, yeah. it was just amazing to see that, you know, in a commercial sense, your sheep had done so well against the traditional type of sheep. Again, yeah, a traditional stud, but a traditional stud that we've got no data on. Uh, and so again, it was an unknown quantity. David was wanting to change his skin type uh, to produce a, a faster growing, uh, higher reproduction animal. Uh, and he's certainly done that. And, the, and to see the sheep visually and the, the data that David has on the sheep show a very real difference in the growth rate of the sheep, uh, in the reproduction performance of these sheep, as well as cutting just as much wool as this traditional stud. It's a fantastic result. Yeah. Um, and mate, Tell us about uh, the sheep you've got on offer this year. I mean, to me, they phenotypically they look fantastic. Figures you've you've matched the figures with them, so again, it's 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 great looking sheep backed by incredible figures. Um, tell us a bit about what you've got on offer. Yeah, the figures will keep getting better each year. Uh, this year, fleece weight and yearling weight uh, both jumped through the roof. Uh, last year, it was muscle and fat took off. So this year, to have the fleece weight and the, and the yearling weight jumping up in line with their, with their muscle and fat is, is great to see. That, you know, I, I see yearling weight and fleece weight as production traits and the muscle and fat as the efficiency of the animal. So we've got very efficient animals to offer that are now highly productive or even more, more productive than they were last year because their fleece weight and growth rates have improved so much. It's, uh, it's great to see. Yeah, I mean commercial performance backed by science and backed by traditional selections of you know phenotype and structure and mm. quality. I mean it, it, it's it's putting it all together, it's modern sheep breeding, isn't it? Well, I think it is, yeah. modern sheep breeding is a good way to put it. It's the balance we want to create, I think. And now, the Merino has so many strings to its bow. We, we, need, we need good wool cut, we need uh, good growth rate in the lambs, and we need a lot of lambs on the ground. And I think if we can combine those three aspects at good levels, then we've got a really robust business and a highly profitable business. And it's, the, it's the combination we're looking for, it's the combination we're seeing out of the Greeks. It's, it's the combination I think the industry is really relating to. Well, mate, uh, best of luck with the sale. Thanks, mate.